And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another session in which we will talk about another famous and loved drink. This time it's not coffee, this time it's tea. Earlier today, we have already seen two generously sized EMA tea bagging machines. In this session, our expert, Jerome Schmidt, his area sales manager of EMA tea and herbs division, will show us a machine for the production of double chamber tea bags. And this machine is so small that it looks more like a miniature model than uh, like a real production machine. Good afternoon, Jerome. Good afternoon, Pietro. Nice to be with you again. Well, uh, good afternoon to everybody and welcome to this presentation of the brand new EC15. Now, before anything, let me make a special greeting to our colleagues, ex friend of Mamaiza, sitting in Mar del Plata and Buenos Aires. Hello, guys. I hope everything is fine with you. Now, before I speak in detail uh, about the machine, let me explain a little bit, let me give a little bit a background of this project. Uh, Maiza and Ima are the undiscussed uh, leaders of the tea bagging machine business. Uh, and also, we work in the same market. There was never a fierce competition between uh, both of us. Uh, in fact, Maiza concentrates mainly on entry level single chamber machine, uh, single chamber bag machine, while Ima focuses more traditionally on the double chamber and uh, more uh, technically advanced machine. For this reason, the, the relationship between the two companies has always been very friendly and serene. And when an opportunity came up in 2017, this is very naturally that both companies decided to join their talents and strengths to occupy and serve better the, 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 the market. The concretization of this new partnership was made through the creation of the Imamiza joint venture and brand. Now, since 2017, the collaboration has mainly been at a commercial level. So we are very happy today to present the first machine that is the result of a far deeper uh, synergy between both of us. And this is the EC15 behind me. The EC15 is, if not the most, for sure, one of the most economical machines for the production of knotted double chamber. To this project, Ima brought his knowledge and skills for the double chamber scheme, while Maiza advises us how to adapt the schemes to their uh, local production facilities. In fact, this machine can be also product, product, produced sorry, in uh, Argentina to penetrate better the South American market. But not only, of course, this machine will be available worldwide through our common network. Now, Pietro, coming back to your assertion, I absolutely agree with you. This machine looks very toyish, but don't be fooled. Uh, this machine will, uh, first of all, uh, allow our end user to produce at a, with a minor investment the exactly same tea bag that it is produced on more sophisticated machine of IMA, which represent today a population of more than 700 machines. And this at a very respectable speed of 100, 150 bags a minute. I give you the line to you. Thank you very much, Jerome. You mentioned the South American market. So I know that in South America, they drink a lot of mate tea. Can this machine pack mate tea as well? Well, before I answer your question, I would like to maybe go deeper in the uh, presentation of, of the scheme. As I said on Wednesday, uh, the, the, the double chamber scheme um, is common to all EMA uh, range. This we said because in case our customer owns different model of ours, uh, the technician can easily move from one equipment to the other. The other important point is that uh, we would like to enable our customer to use the same material across the range and to not have to build a specific uh, stock of material for one specific equipment. This applies obviously also to the EC15. Now I'm going to show you more in detail how a tea bag is produced and Luca will show you what kind of tea bag we are talking about. And I apologize with those who were online on Wednesday as I will probably repeat things that I've already said. But 
if you look at the machine, so on the left side, you have the material. Uh, the, on the upper here, you have the mm, uh, filter paper reel, which is plain paper, 100% uh, uh, abaca. You have the tag reel here, a straight, straight tag. Here you have the envelope group. If you have the option on board, this machine can produce the naked bag only if you need, or if you have the envelope, you can produce both the uh, naked bag and the envelope. On the hopper here, you will put the product and the product will then be those on the filter paper that is here below. Uh, here the scrimping uh, wheel group will uh, form a tube and the tube will be cut into pieces by this rotative uh, knife here. Once this is done, the bags will be pushed down in the central reel. Uh, the first part of the process is just to form and fold the bag head. Here you bring in the tag after it has been given an octagonal shape by this knife here. Below you see the knotting unit that makes a knot on the two sides, one on the bag and one on the tag. The bags proceed then to the envelope station where in one stroke, those two jaws still the, seal the envelope. Now a question came on Wednesday uh, about whether the cartoning attachment is necessary on C27E. Uh, the question here might be, uh, is there any cartoning attachment on EC15? As you can see, we don't have any cartoning attachment here. Now the reply is no. At this stage, there is no intention to develop a cartoning attachment for this machine because most probably we're going to sell this machine to people uh, with very labor intensive organization. And the cost of a cartoning attachment is immediately prohibitive for them. So here, instead of the uh, classical counting and staking station, we, the, the, the bags or the envelope are placed directly into a standing into a continuous line is this exit channel. The operator to pack the box just need to collect the bags manually and put them into the carton. The right number of bags that he has to pick up is, is given to him by this bag that stands above the other. Here also you can easily change the counts via the touch panel here. Now, coming back to your question about Mate, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, when you develop and you build machine, you obviously have to cope with the, some specificities of the market in which you operate, be it a, a particular technical solution, be it a particular product like Mate is for South, Africa, for South America. Uh, you must know that the production of Mate is about 450,000 tons per year with only 2% uh, consume uh, uh, with the tea bags. Most of the people still use, still consume mate in a loose form in a typical cup they call bombilla. Now, uh, th so there's still a long way to go for, for us to go uh, in this field. Uh, Maiza obviously initiated this process a long time ago. They have delivered quite a, uh, quite a big number of machines in South, Amer South America already. And uh, EC15 will be hopefully another tool uh, to stimulate more the change of habit of the customer. Uh, we all look forward to a new era of the tea bag uh, business in South America, but not only. Also, Asia and Africa uh, represent a tremendous potential for this kind of economical machine. Now, talking about mate, uh, give me the opportunity to talk about herbs. Uh, black tea with a total, a yearly total production of 6 million tons per year is the undiscussed leader of the infusion product. But next to this market, there is a nowadays fast growing uh, market that is for the herbal teas. Now you must know that the herbs doesn't behave at all uh, as a black tea. Herbs can be uh, sticky, can be abrasive, uh, it might be not free-flowing product. So it is very difficult to run herbs on a machine, especially if the speed re becomes significant. So uh, Ima and Maiza uh, understand very early the potential of the herb and have developed a specific solution on their respective machine to be able to run those products. Now, let me show you uh, two of those uh, important features that we uh, have put here. Uh, first of all, I'm talking about the dosing system. 
Here you see the hopper and the shield below with a very bright section so that when you put your product here, it should possibly flow uh, by gravity very easily without any obstacle. Then here, I don't know if the camera can see, can show, you have a vibrating table that will uh, bring the tea uh, to the front of the machine with regularity and very gently so you don't break the leaves and you don't create an excess of dust on the machine. The dozer here also has a particular shape. You see it's uh, basically a cylinder with a hole on it. And as you see, those pockets have a rounded shape so that the product will fall down well on the filter paper and will guarantee you a constant of the weight in your bag. Now let, let me conclude by uh, giving, uh, um, spending a few words on the envelope here below. Uh, when you pack herbs, uh, you must know that herbs are very smelly and are very sensible to the uh, outer conditions. So people who pack herbs usually wrap them into an envelope in order to keep their properties and to avoid the smell to go all around the place. On this machine, we have two kinds of envelope. The most common envelope is the heat seal envelope. Now, depending on the composition of, the, of this material, you have different grade of barrier. You can range from the one layer material up to the three layer material that includes a, a, a layer of aluminum, for example. Now, the common things to all this material is that in order to seal, to seal the, the, the two sides of the envelope together, you need to use heat. Now, another solution that is available here is the paper cold seal envelope. What is cold seal? Cold seal is a, um, a solution that is used in, since many years in other industries where you cannot use it to wrap your product because they are sensible to the temperature. I'm talking about the uh, ice cream, for example, or the chocolate snakes. So uh, th this is very important not to eat the, 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 the product. So here the, the, the concept is basically to coat inside the inner side of the envelope uh, um, a pattern of uh, adhesive th that will be uh, that will be uh, closed by pressure of this jaw, uh, so you close the envelope. Uh, the, the the quantities of adhesive that is on the envelope is marginal compared to the uh, overall weights of the envelope. So this uh, material, this product, is still considered as fully compostable. And this gives also uh, another three advantages. One is that uh, the envelope is still on the foresight for a better barrier to the product. The other advantages is that uh, you don't need to change too much to make too much of setting on the machine if you move from a paper envelope to a seal envelope. And the last point is that the cotton you will use to uh, pack your bag will be uh, from the same size as both envelope as the same dimension. Now, enough of my talk, and I give it back to you, I give it back to the real protagonist uh, of the session, the EC15. Uh, uh, I will let the machine run for about uh, two minutes so that you can have a look at it. Jerome, can you hear me? Yes. I think that two minutes are a little bit too long as we are already running out of time okay. for this session. <laughs> okay, for me it's okay, we can stop here. All right, uh, I have one uh, I have a question. Um, on the market there are a lot of teabagging machines who produce crimped envelopes. The EC15 from Misa doesn't do it, why? Now, as I said, the, the, we have substituted the crimped envelope by this uh, cold sealed envelope. So it is still uh, a paper envelope, 
uh, only it, it has a better protection of the product because the four sides are sealed compared to a, crimp, a standard crimped envelope when one side is open and you have a flap. Okay. Then we have a couple of questions coming from our viewers at home. Question number one, is it possible to connect this machine via internet or get remote assistance, given that it is such a small machine? Yes, absolutely. Even so, it's a small machine. We have here an uh, internet port. We have here an, inter an internet port where you can uh, connect a cable and uh, allow it, uh, the, the technical support of Italy to connect to the machine and add the troubleshooting of the machine. Okay, next question. How long does it take to switch the machine from a heat sealing to a naked bag, to from, sorry, from heat sealed bags to naked bags production? Yeah, so I believe on this machine, we are talking about roughly uh, a time of about uh, half an hour. So it's very, it's very easy to switch from naked bag production to envelope production. Okay, a third and last question. I don't know Back how you, seriously. Sorry. <laughs> A third and last question, I don't know how seriously we can take this. It says, such a small and simple machine could also be sold on Amazon. Are you thinking of it? Uh, well, uh, this is a strange question. Uh, <laughs> if you allow me to reply in this way, uh, it could be sold maybe through Amazon, but definitely not with a prime system because we will need a bit of time to produce a machine, for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Jérôme Schmidt for being with us this afternoon and have a nice weekend. And uh, we have come to the end of this session, but stay with us as the next one will start in just a couple of minutes. See you then.